Minkies. Let's run it up, boys. Trade recap over 180% on this shit. 1 to 6.8 risk to reward. Made over seven or er, $698 exact today. We're running it up. I want to show you guys exactly how I took this. If we look at the higher time frames, for everyone in the Discord right now watching this too and everybody watching this on YouTube, we caught this whole entire downside candle. The reason we were able to catch this is simply by looking at higher time frame equilibrium and higher time frame highs. So if we look and go on replay mode right here, I want to show you guys. Go on replay mode. We see this whole entire downside range right here, right? From this high all the way up here, like even on the daily time frame. Or no, we'll go on the four. From this swing high all the way to the swing low. If we take it from all the way up here to down here, let's look at the equilibrium. Boom, came up in the equilibrium. So for one, today we knew we were in a discount. That's the first thing. We knew we were in a discounted price range of this downside range right here. And then also we had, which was this right over here? This was yesterday's highs. Yep, yesterday's highs. So this whole entire day, this was yesterday right here from 9.15 to what, right here? Like over here? Uh, these were the highs at... 1530 which is what is that i think 330 right 330 i think so so 330 yesterday's highs basically which on the four hour time frame we were taking these highs out up here so i'm going to clear everything so you can see it easier we were taking these highs out right here straight up taking these highs out and once we took these highs out right here i was waiting for an inversion fair value gap or a break of structure also like i said we're tapping what if you look over here Everything's going to come back, but look at this upside candle right here. Also, look at the manipula or not manipulation, accumulation. Accumulation right here. This is a bunch of chop right here. Chop, 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 chop to a big downside move. So all this chop to a big downside move, that is an order block. And we're going to look at it on the four hour time frame, this upside candle to the big downside move. That is an order block and it's already been respected, rejected, respected, rejected. So you know this is a big rejection level right here, especially I don't use support and resistance too, too much, but when you see... A big support level get broken it's used as resistance bam like if am i lying look at that shit right here like let me clear everything look at this level of support 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 we broke it retest it to a t look at this this is not fake and we're rejecting them levels are like known levels no i do not trade support and resistance but that shit is like true like support and resistance is 100 percent a working thing i just don't trade it doesn't make sense to me so we hit we the main time frame um, that we were looking at is the four hour. Look at all of these confluence. I got like four confluences. The first one, higher time frame liquidity sweep right here. Second one, equilibrium. Third one, four hour order block. And yeah, that's really all I was looking for. So then I'm scaling down to the one minute. As soon as market opens, guys, like right up here above this high, it's nine o'clock. Right here is nine twenty. Okay, market opens right here. We see a huge downside candle. We broke structure and we inversed all of these like bearish or bullish fair value gaps, especially this one. We inverse that closed below it. So I'm thinking, okay, we want to go lower, but I don't want to enter at 9.33. I just don't enter that quick. I like to see price actually develop. So we come up, boom, we reject right off of that. Another big rejection and a break of structure also on the three minute time frame we inverse this on the two minute time frame we inversed all of these with this big candle down i waited for a retracement this two minute fair value gap and this one minute fair value gap right here we entered right off of this red uh this red black candle closer or open as soon as this green candle closed this open entered right off of that stop loss up here Right at the highs where it's like, yo, if we want to go back up here, our bias is most likely wrong because we already swept yesterday's highs. So that means we most likely are just bullish and we want to break out. That's why our strategy is so effective because the risk to reward is absolutely amazing. So the reason we took this is for one, look at the two minute time frame. Like I'll, I'll clear everything. Look at this two minute fair value gap right here. Two minute fair value gap after the break of structure pull back. Look at the EMAs. Look at the EMAs. Someone can shit on me for using EMAs. I don't rely on them, but I do use them as an extra confirmation. We're in an uptrend. The EMAs cross over after we break structure, identifying that we're switching to a downtrend. And I don't just say, oh, the EMAs are switching. We're in a downtrend. No, that is not what I do. And if you rely just on indicators, I don't think that is very efficient. Um, there's, you're definitely going to get faked out a lot. But why I did think we were reversing is simply because of the higher time frame, equilibrium, order block, and liquidity sweep on the four hour. Remember, those three things. 
Liquidity sweep, look. Liquidity sweep, order block, equilibrium. We're in this price range. From this high to this low, we came above and we're in that discount or premium. So, waited even a five minute break of structure. Like, where would it have been at? Uh, I would have looked at it like right up here. But still, I would have waited just for this three minute break of structure right here. Or even the one minute. I really like one minutes, especially at the highs of liquidity because look, highs near liquidity because we're able to get in up here. Stop losses right here. Like I said, if price wants to do that, our bias is most likely wrong. It's just continuing to the upside. So that's how we were able to catch a fucking mean risk to reward, which is a one to six point risk to six point eight risk to reward, risking barely anything to make a shit ton. Made six hundred dollars. The most I would probably risk on this is a hundred bucks around there, right? Because I made six hundred ninety dollars, so I'm probably risking about a hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty on this trade if I would have lost with the three contracts. And my win obviously won. And that's exactly how we're able to catch these huge trades and trades and make a lot of money. I'm not one of those gurus that are going to come on here and be like, yeah, this is how I make 10K in one day or 5K in one day. Like showing that to beginner traders, I think is a, a, bad, um, a bad example in my opinion. I don't think that you should be showing off 10K days unless you're like real big. Then it's just like, okay, fuck it. But if, you're, if that's all you're flexing and you're telling people like, this could be you, this could be you. Like, no, that's not going to be you at all right away or in the first year or even two. You will not be hitting 10K days and that's just realistic. If you full port or if you have a shit ton of money, then it's possible. But it's like full porting. And using a shit ton of money in your beginning stages is basically just going against your plan, in my opinion. So stay okay with small wins. People in my Discord, or if you're watching this, today you might have made $40. Look at it as like, if I would give you two $20 bills right now and hand it to you, you wouldn't take that shit? You're going to dead ass tell me, fuck you, Johnny, I'm not taking your 40 bucks. You're going to do that? Okay, keep being greedy. And then what does greed lead into? More emotions, more emotions lead you to act on hesitation. Acting on hesitation will lead you to making very dumb choices in the market. So, 20 to $40 days. Then you get comfortable with that. You size up a little bit. You take it step by step, brick by dick. Brick by dick, I was about to say. I'm actually retarded. Brick by brick. And just fucking lock in, bro. That's all, man. I'm ending this fucking video. I hope everyone in the live Discord learned something from this. Deuces, we made a fucking bag.